next trailer I'm going to watch is classified as a comedy horror. It's got Robert Patrick in it. I've got a soft spot for this guy. Ever have since I'm um, ever have. Oh my gosh. Am I even awake right now? I'm getting ready to have my afternoon coffee, but I guess I'm 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 brain farting. I have liked him ever since Terminator 2, which was the very first time I ever even knew who the heck he was. I'd never seen him before or heard of him before. Um, so I do like to watch um, things that he's in, even if they suck, which quite a few of them have sucked, but he's been in some good stuff, you guys. He was in the um, From Dusk Till Dawn TV show, which was pretty good, season one. He was in the Unit TV show, which was which was good. And there was another thing I was thinking of off the top of my head. Um, can't remember now. Anyway, so yes, Robert Patrick, comedy horror. I like that combo. And so I'm going to go ahead and check this out. Yeah, I don't remember. Did I, did I say the name of the, the title already? Oh my gosh. It, if I did, sorry. If I didn't, it's called Tone Deaf. So here we go. Feels to kill someone. Oh. It's an itch I never got around to scratch it. <laughs> an itch? Oh no. You're firing me? Can you at least let me go at the end of the week? Come on, it's almost free lunch Friday. I deserve that meal. Please don't make me call security. I need to get out of the city for a bit. Consider this your eat, pray, love moment. Well, I hope you have a lovely stay. Don't hesitate to call me if you need anything. I'm just down the road. I'm gonna text you Never heard of Richard Bates. if you call and I don't pick up. I'm being objectified and tortured by a hillbilly. Oh no. I didn't really think this through. <laughs> no. Oh, some supernatural stuff. That just gets easier and easier. Man, it can only take so much before he cracks. He's cracking. Cultural appropriation, man. Jesus. Oh, shut up. <laughs> God. Oh, my goodness. Let's see who's... I, I did not recognize the girl. She seemed vaguely familiar, but it's not jumping out at me as far as who she is. I'm trying to find the names. Yeah, Amanda Cruitt said her name was... I am... Really, the only person I recognize from this is Robert Patrick. This definitely looks pretty quirky. Uh, did not realize there was going to be a supernatural element involved, unless it's not really supernatural, unless he's just going crazy. And these weird scenes that he's that that it's showing is just stuff that's happening in his mind. Um, yeah, this looks like fun. I will watch this. Won't go to see it in the um, theaters, but I really doubt it's going to be coming to my theaters here. Uh, but yeah, I, I'll check this out. Robert Patrick. Um, he often plays a bad guy, and he plays a good bad guy, too. Um, but, you know, because I like him, I, I I wish... I don't like to see him playing a bad guy. Oh, it's got Ray Wise in it. Oh, I just saw that. So I just noticed it has Ray Wise. Okay, cool. Um, and Delaney. Oh. All right. Well, anyway. I prefer to see him playing a good guy. But he does play a good bad guy. There was a movie I saw, maybe it was earlier this year, or it was last year. It was, I think it was on Netflix. He was a bad guy in that. It was like these people that had come in this house. I think they, maybe he was a criminal and they busted him out of jail and they came to this, um, this house where this married couple were and a friend and um, they basically terrorized the family. But he was, I, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, he was like the ringleader uh, no, maybe it wasn't him that they broke out of jail. Maybe it was somebody else, but he, but Robert Patrick was like the ringleader dude. I can't remember the name 
of the movie, but it was good. You know, it was it was decent. And uh, so this looks like it's going to be pretty fun, too. I'm curious to find out where this is going to take us and uh, to see, you know, if this girl is going to be able to escape this crazy dude. <laughs> I don't think he's got this itch he wants to scratch, which involves killing people. That's a pretty crazy itch to have. So um, a little wonky there. But uh, okay, yeah, this one was a fun trailer. It was not awfully long, uh, just a tad over, well, maybe right at about two minutes. So I'm on the credit screen and it says 202. So definitely long enough to let us know pretty effectively what this is about, but not so long that you felt like it was going on too long. Not that sort of. It, it felt it felt perfect as far as um, lengthwise, and also the way they laid out the narrative of the trailer. I thought they did a pretty good job with that. So, yeah, I'm liking it. Like the trailer, like the thought of the movie, and look forward to watching it at some point. And that is it for this one, you guys. Bye.